Hey guys, what's up? Because of your comments, I've made yet another discovery. You've told me about the financial investment app called GoTrade, and you asked me to look into this and share with you my review. And like I've always said, I really appreciate your comments because I actually get a lot of my material from you guys. So, what do I think about GoTrade? Are you sure you really want to know? Join me today. First and foremost, what is GoTrade? GoTrade is a stock investment app that lets you trade stocks from the United States. Now let's start with the positive points. GoTrade's hook is really catchy because just with $1, you can already get started with investing in US stocks. Sounds familiar? Sounds like Gcash, right? The good thing about this is that you're investing directly in the stocks and not in a UITF that is a commonly pooled fund managed by professionals. So this one, you get to invest in the stocks directly. And the number two good point, you actually get up to $6 free. So upon initial sign-up, if you disclose your credit card details and fund your GoTrade wallet, you are able to get a sum of $6 from that. And number three, this is where I really give some praise to the guys at GoTrade. The design of the app is actually very attractive. You would really be motivated to invest in stocks. It looks very simple. It's very colorful. Tabs are easy to navigate. It's not complicated. They even have this quasi stories feature. It looks like Instagram stories or Facebook stories. The look and feel of the app actually reminds me of the Pickaroo app. So the design, look and feel of the GoTrade app, really nice I have to say. But those positive points, it ends there. I'm sorry guys, I'm just not a fan of this app. To begin with, when you click on deposit or funding your account, there are actually four main ways to do this. Number one is through BPI, number two is through Union Bank, number three is through Gcash, and number four through a wire transfer to their US account. I guess it's a good thing that GoTrade has integrated their payment facilities with these banks, but what I don't like is that they got my credit card details and apparently it's not even an option right now. I don't understand that upon sign up, I was able to fund my account through my credit card, but there's just no option to use your credit card. I don't know if this is a local integration problem or something that they're working on, but for me, that was my first disappointment. And number two, and this is probably the biggest thing that I have some frustrations with, while GoTrade has made their user interface really easy, the number one thing that's important to me is the withdrawal process. It's actually quite complicated. Sure, it seems easy. You have to input your name, your bank's name, your bank swift code, and your account number. But this is where I got really scared. There is a disclaimer there that says that if you input any of the details wrong, you can be charged $20. So personally, I'm not sure if I should put my bank as BPI or Bank of the Philippine Islands. I'm also not sure if my account number is written correctly, if I should lead with two zeros or four zeros or whatever. I guess my problem here is that GoTrade has really made it easy throughout the whole process on how you can buy stocks, how you can register. But when it comes to getting your money, they haven't made that easy at all. And of course guys, that's the most important part. It seems simple enough, but to compare my experience, I've been an Airbnb host for over five years. I trade with eToro. For the withdrawal process, it's never really been this complicated or there just hasn't been this kind of penalty imposed. So that's why I'm quite disappointed with the GoTrade app, most of all because of this withdrawal process. And number three, why I don't like the GoTrade app. While it may be nice for beginners, if you really wanted to apply some tools and some analysis and application of some intermediate techniques, the tools within the GoTrade app are quite limited. By the way guys, I'm not all that advanced anyway. There are really no options on how you can change the reading of your charts. You are stuck with this line graph. And if you wanted to trade on leverage as you can with eToro, you're not able to do this with GoTrade. I know these are more advanced features, I guess my point is if you really wanted to get into trading off global stocks and have a better understanding, the eToro platform is more complicated but definitely has more features and not all that much harder to learn to use anyway. If I were you, I would skip GoTrade. I would just use eToro if I wanted to really up my skills, up my analysis. And if you wanted to keep it simple, I think I would just stick to Gcash. 
Gcash is simple enough. Gcash will not penalize you for entering any wrong details because that's why they're there. And you can be assured that your investment can actually be withdrawn without any much problem, unlike in the GoTrade platform, where it's really become a pain point for users such as ourselves. So in summary, I would stick to Gcash if I wanted to keep it simple. And if I wanted to up my game, if I wanted to learn more, I would just jump into eToro. For me, go trade in this netherworld. This is really neither here nor there. If you want to sign up to eToro, you can use my link below. Or if you wanted to learn more about Gcash investments in my previous videos, you can also check the links below in my description. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!